the maple neck that we want to go ahead and unwrap and get it off. And uh, thank you, brother. Gold prospectors. There you go. I didn't realize which one I had on until I looked. I think I own about 40 of them shirts, just so you'll know. So uh, something like that. I used to work for them. That used to be my job. So I was working in California for the Gold Prospectors Association. And then every summer I'd go to Nome, Alaska, spend the summer up there prospecting for gold and teaching people how to find gold. So that was my deal. That's what I did back in that day. So one day I'll have to share some of my videos of my Alaska adventures with y'all guys. One these here broadcast or something. So let's see how this one came out. I think that other one's got some glue douche out on the sides of it that came out pretty good. I may have to. Okay. Big okay, there you go. So that was ready to be cut down. Get that off the excess and then wrap the rest of it and then finish shaping it up. So this is pretty good. This rounded off pretty darn sweet. It's ready. Uh, this one over here, well, we ain't got that much in it, folks. It ain't got all that done to it. So let's, yeah, let's give it a run over. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a this band off here. Same way we did that other side. Have y'all tried these bands yet? I'll tell you, they really work good. What I've been doing with them, I've been using it for practicing my golf swing. My, my son gave me, uh, what's that, uh, not lessons, but uh, drills to do, you know, and the drills involve using these one of these rubber bands around my right arm to keep it down here against my ribs. But I'm hitting the ball, after two lessons, I'm hitting it further than I ever hit in my life. So. I could do that, brother. I do my, my you know, I got a YouTube channel, Spikes Prospecting Equipment. And I got the guitar channel on YouTube, so I got both. Um, and so, yeah. But, yeah, I could do a stream uh, one night on the gold prospect stuff. I built some, uh, I built a piece of equipment yesterday or the day before to ship out to somebody on the stream, I think it was. So normally I do that sometimes. And uh, so people can just see the other things that we do, you know, other than that. So yeah, there's those. So here's the other neck. And y'all see it has not been shaped yet. So this one's got to be shaped. And uh, all the junk cut off the sides of it. So. I guess the best thing to do is go out there to the bandsaw and cut the excess off of both of these and go ahead and do this little trim job I wanted to do too while I'm at it. And then we'll set up the router and we'll route them on up here tight and get tight to the fretboard, you know, close. And then we'll take this one, and if we got time before Hank starts up, we'll put this one on the shop smith and uh, shape the back of it. If not, we'll do that tomorrow. That's the plan. So let's go to the bandsaw now that we got it all fixed and working. And uh, trim both of these, trim this, and then see if we got time to start on shaping one right quick. So let's, let's just go. Uh -huh. Time to take them off, right? May have turned the saw up to these. I don't know. This is. I'm going to try to leave it in the bed.
trimmed out. This one's trimmed out. They need to take the router now and route the outside down the edges. And then this one here, we gotta take it to the shot smith and shape the back of it from here to here. So that's what the plan is. Let's get them routed right quick. We'll do that next. Let's get the routing done. You know, I hooked up the vacuum cleaner and didn't turn it on. So yeah, a lot of good that done, right? That wasn't a good move. I want to use that router or I want to use the hand router to do it. I'm really thinking I might want to. Yeah. This one here will be fine. I just got to get cleaned off of baby. So let's go from there. We'll use this router over here. So we're going to come over here and use this router on this table now.
general idea. Now this one here needs the back shape on. Change this thing over and put it in the guitar neck making mode, okay? I'm going to turn this around so we can get to the gear on it. I see that? I see what I'm doing. I need a little better one. I'm looking at my back. Sorry about that. Okay. Take that out. There she's reach up. I'll just drop it in there out of the way. Get rid of it. Then you go to this side and get out the routing bit. I got a big one if you want to really route something now. But yeah, this one here seems to work perfectly next. So we're going to do that like that. And we're going to mount it right here on this side on this flat spot on the shaft. Clamp, clamp it down. Like that tight. Stick this out of the way. I don't know if you can make that drawer long enough for that too. I mean, you got to go in the angle to get it in. Okay, there's that. We're ready to go there. There, dust here. Get the sled and line this thing up. Let's get the jig. Turn the neck ring this way. The neck shape the jig. I know. Most people don't do it like I do it, okay? I don't understand that, okay? Y'all just be aware. Just gonna do it my way. See how it works. This will be like neck number. I guess this will be the third one I've done of these, or no, fourth. I've done this style like this on this machine. So. I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to make a couple of measuring marks on it so we make sure we don't cut too far. Okay, let's get one of these up here and get it marked right quick. I got one right here that I can use. But I need one. I'm really not shortcutting myself like I did yesterday. I made one, shortcutted it, I ended up working like, whoa! We're not, hand chills are trying to fix that thing, so we won't do that again. Now, you see how this lays right here? There's our end, and our temper taper is right there. That's as far as I would ever want to go, is that corner right there. So that's there. And then up here, I'm going to want to bring this taper all the way to here. Because I like it there, so it makes this corner right here, so I don't have to hand cut that. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to come this way. I don't know if y'all see this or not, but we're going to cut, and it's going to be something like that. That's our end line on that end. And this end here, we're going to stop like this. We're going to come around and we're going to stop on those ends like that. Because when I'm coming across to that machine, I won't go any further than that or that with this big bit. So that's the idea. Now, the way, the way I do this is I, I line. Let me get a little better look at this thing so you can see what we're doing here. But I do do it different. Okay, you see the side? i got a fretboard on here. So that'll get my dimensions right. And what I'm going to do is I'm lining up the left side of this with the left side of my jig. Okay? So I got this side completely lined up flush with my jig that's tapered same degree as the neck. And it also got tapered this way because I put that in when I built it. Yeah, it's got a tenth of an inch from here to there. Cuts tenth inch deeper here than it does here. Which means you get a shower neck right there when you do that, which is what everybody wants. You know how that works. Okay, I think we got it. Get this baby all out of the way. Now, when I go in here on this thing, it's a little touchy. I have to be real careful if I don't let it get away from me. So we're going to bring you over here. So you can see maybe kind of where I'm coming at it. I'm hoping that's going to work for you. 
And I'm probably going to bring in the big camera and just big, the big camera on that for you. So let me open that up. Yeah. I opened it up, but I don't know when. Uh, that's close. I guess y'all can see that. That might be better. Y'all can see a little better. That other one's a little bit too tight, I think. Now, the vacuum is here. It's hooked up. It's over there. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on. We're going to bring it in here and do this. First thing we got to do is set our height. This bearing right here, this bearing right here needs to run right on that. So we're going to bring it down to where it runs right on that there. Right there is where I'm going to want that, I'm pretty sure. You say, well, that's going to give out a big old cut, ain't it? And it is. But what we're going to do, we're going to feed it in kind of slow and shave it off, okay? So we can come up short here, it won't matter. We can come up a little short of that, but we don't want to go beyond it, that's for sure. So that's the way that's going to go, right there like that. We're going to come in and we're going to work it right across here and cut, okay? So we're going to shape this neck, get it rounded from here to here, ready where all we got to do is a little hand work here and here. That's the plan. So let's see how it works. Turn it on. We're going to turn it up to the routing speed. Pretty much as good as I can do with it right now, so I, I don't want to touch that anymore. So, once you get one side, you loosen this up, slide it over, put it up against the, the, the fence on the edge here. Line this side right here up, tighten it down. Y'all I guess? It's different, I know. Most people don't do them this way. Okay, let's put the bit back on. We got to put back together. Get all this out of the way. Got a lot of picking up to do. Now we got to turn everything around. And we got this edge lined up now with the, with the template. So we're going to come right down this side, we're going to go this way, this down this side, same way we did over there. We'll start in and come into that, basically right at that point right there and work our way down. So let's go. Let's get this height down first while we're not upside down and trying to work and tear, tear the bottom off of it.
I think that's going to work right there, guys. Okay, now the idea is putting this bearing, you will see this bearing here, put this bearing on here and let it rise. So, computer, turn on dust away. Okay. I don't like the way it's cut on that side because it's got a little bit further than I wanted, so I'm going to match it with this side. But I can't put it back. And also, this side's cutting a little deeper now than I cut the first side. So I'm going to get to match up get centered on some of the center. So you got to do both at the same setting. If you move the setting, well, the neck goes asymmetrical. So you have to have it set up down this way with both sides as the way you got it set. That's the way you have to do it. So. Okay, let's try to center it up and get the rest of it done. Okay? Computer, turn off the dust away. Computer, turn off the dust away. Can't hear. A little ridge starts right there, it goes away, and it comes back. You got a little thin line. But you see how it gets fatter as it comes up to here and it makes out for the, the taper? So then this is pretty much shaped, ready to go. Let's walk it in the office. Hey, computer! 
computer. Now let it escalate. Okay. Computer, turn off the escalate. Okay. Good Lord. I didn't think it was going to ever listen that time, guys. I didn't have any idea if it was going to listen or something. Here's one, Nick. Let me uh, lay this out aside. Let's go grab the other one real quick. Got them both knocked out of there. Now, it ain't perfect. It's got a little bump here and there I made on it because I didn't do it perfect. But there's the two shapes on the two necks. Now, we'll bring the camera in a little bit closer on you so you get a better idea what they look like. And we're going to be ready for old Hank in about five, ten minutes here, so we're going to get done. And I wanted to at least show you how these necks look when we get done with the process. So, this one here. I done it the other night, and then I took the Shinto to it and kind of finished it. It's not complete yet. It's got a little work to do. But that one there, that's it, ready. Okay, we're going to set that aside. And the one I just done, we just cut this one just now. And if y'all notice, it's got this little feather right here that gives you a guide to work with around these edges. And right here, you round these and round these, and the rest of this goes into guitar. So if you look real close, you can see i got a wide here and then it tapers and goes down the neck as it tapers down to a little thin line then it goes away completely goes away now the reason for that is i got this neck set up in the jig where it's cutting a tenth of an inch well right at 0 0.8 0 0.08 thicker right here than it is right here so it's cutting the, the block is set to where we get a little more cut here so therefore we get a little thinner neck profile here than we get back here and that's all done by the way the jig sets up. So, yeah, there's work to be done. There's hand work on here and all that. So we got a lot to still keep doing. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way they come out. I mean, if you're going to do a neck, uh, what well, the way I do them, you just go and have fun with it. So, yeah. So now we, we two up on the game. We've got a little work to do up here on cutting the nut and putting that in. That's the reason I took that off is I'm going to cut it in and I'm going to – I'm going to – I'm going to cut the nut in where it goes right here. I'm going to cut the nut there, and then I'm going to shave this down this way, give it a, a nice swoop. And the same on this one, but this one will have a bigger swoop at a bigger angle. And you say, well, why? Because, well, I do them different every time. Uh, I'm not Fender. I'm not Gibson. I'm me. And when me does it, well, me does it my way. Y'all should be ready for that. So, hey, where'd I put my drink? Right there. I'm thirsty to death. Ain't nobody told me to hydrate yet. Y'all don't care about me. I can tell that already.